5.37 a disk revolves with a speed of 33 1 by 3 revolution per minute and has a radius of 15 centimeter two coins are placed at 4 centimeter and 14 centimeter away from the center of the disk if the coefficient of friction between the coins and the disk is 0 0.15, which of the two coins will revolve with the disk? Or one can ask which coin will slip off. Okay. See the situation. This is the disk with respect to this axis passing through the center. It is rotating with angular speed omega. Suppose arbitrarily we consider one coin, which one is placed at a distance r from the center of the disk. So when disk is rotating, this coin will execute circular motion on the circular path having radius equal to r. Weight of the coin in downward direction mg so coin exert the force mg in downward direction on the disc so normal reaction of disc on the coin that is n now to sustain the circular motion of the coin required centripetal force that is mv square by r who will provide this one obviously the friction right so your required centripetal force, if it is less than or equal to maximum stati static friction, till that, that coin will revolve. But if your required centripetal to sustain the motion is greater than maximum static friction, then definitely that coin will slip off. So here, Required centripetal force for the coin mv square by r that should be less than or equal to fs maximum. But fs maximum that is mu s into n, n that is mg. So fs maximum that is mu s mg means mv square by r that should be less than or equal to mu s into m into g. M, M cancelled, replace V by R omega, V equal to R omega. So here V square, that is R square omega square upon R as it is, less than or equal to mu S into G. Again, one R cancelled here. And now take this omega square on right hand side, so we can write here, R that should be less than or equal to mu s into g upon omega square. Now let's calculate this right hand side. Omega given to you that is 33 1 by 3 means that is 100 by 3 revolution per minute. One revolution that is 2 pi radian 1 minute that is 60 second. So 100 by 3 into 2 pi by 60. So your omega turns to 10 pi by 9 radian per second. Mu s is given to you 0 0.15. Now mu s into g upon omega square, this right hand side of this particular equation. Mu s 0 0.15, g 10, omega square 10 pi by 9 whole square, clear? So this particular factor turns to 0 0.123 meter, <coughs> that is 12.3 centimeter. See, this particular equation R that is less than or equal to mu s g upon omega square. So we can say this is the condition for the coin to remain on the disk. If this condition is not satisfied, then coin will slip off. Now we calculated mu s g upon omega square that is 12.3 centimeter. Now one coin is placed at r equal to 4 centimeter. 
yes that is less than 12.3 cm and the second coin which one is placed at r equal to 14 cm but 14 cm is greater than 12.3 cm means this second coin which one is placed at 14 cm for that this condition is not satisfied so we can say this first coin which one is at 4 cm will remain on the disc and the coin which one is at 14 cm will slip off from the disc clear to all of you